How's it going to do it today? I'm Sam Eder, CEO of Big Wheelbarrow. And I believe that small is big, really big. Here's why. As we saw before, local food is a $19 billion industry. It's grown over 400% over the last 10 years. The vast majority of those sales come from small suppliers. There are millions of those small suppliers in the US alone. Big Wheelbarrow started as an online marketplace for local food, and we learned firsthand that managing a pool of those small suppliers is inefficient and expensive. We surveyed hundreds of food businesses and found that they had the same pain points. That's when it hit us. Instead of being a marketplace, let's leverage the power of AI to automate for the complexities of buying and selling local food. Now, we're the pl software platform that powers, oops, we're the software platform that powers, oh, this is the old one, all right, <laughs> we'll move on. We're the software platform that powers marketplaces, food retailers, and food service companies, anyone who wants to build a localized food supply chain. Our first product makes it ridiculously easy for suppliers to update their data. A supplier just adds an email address to their existing buyer distribution list, and that's it. Our technology takes their weekly inventory updates and adds it to a dashboard. Buyers go from supplier data that looks like this to this. It's clean, fast, and easy. Now buyers can work with a large pool of small suppliers each week without having to manually enter that data into a spreadsheet. Our technology does it for them. And it's not just a productivity play. We're unlocking premium local products, as we, and all powered by our platform. And as we continue to expand our product line, we're automating more of the friction points in the food supply chain and we're changing how food service companies interact with their operators. This is the team behind the platform. Collectively, we've worked together for over 19 years at farms, startups, and tech giants. We have experience in food buying and farming and customer experience and technology. And it's working. We launched our product 71 days ago and we have 12 customers that access our technology via monthly software subscription. And we're continuing to grow with customers like Local Crate. We're helping them with the national expansion of their local meal kit business. As the CEO of Local Crate, Michael Staubaum, told us, our platform is critical in their ability to grow and still hold true to their mission, which is locally, sourcing locally in each of their markets. We're here today because we think together with Food Foundry, we can help more operators source local products locally, safely, and efficiently. If you're ready to get millions of small suppliers into the wholesale channel, come talk to us afterwards. Thank you. Great, the, the question's about scaling. So one of the great things about our model is that our customers, the, the food service company, the food retailer, or the institutional buyer, they're already bringing on their pool of suppliers and they're using us to manage all those availability lists. And they actually know what the next tier of supplier they would like to work with if they had the time. So we're increasing the capacity for them to work with those players. As we continue to grow in markets, we love to be able to open that up and bring, let suppliers become discoverable to other uh, potential customers, and we like to bring that on board too. And the, on the operator side? On the operator side, it's a sales, we're, we're selling to them in a combination of inside and outside sales. Betsy, what is your acquisition cost to do with the supplier team or the operator? 
So um, on the supplier community, we do not do um, acquisitions. That's actually coming to us via the operators um, or the, the, the retailers. Um, and right now, we're about $500 per acquisition. So right now, most of our um, most of our customers accept direct to store or direct to hub delivery from the uh, supplier. That's something that we're working on as, as as we expand to be able to understand how we can create aggregation with partners like food hubs or other uh, consolidators. Yeah, so that's a great question. So depending on who that customer is. Oh, so the question is how many deliveries would come to a restaurant if there wasn't a consolidator um, in the mix? So, for example, when we were, one of our customers is doing an average of four truck rolls a day from their farming um, and CPG customers, um, and that's their uh, you know, meal kit business. Uh, 